Good morning, all of you. Today, I'm Saloni Goyal from Manav Bharti School, Dehradun. I'm going to be explaining the first chapter of Snapshots, The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse by William Saroy. Before I start up with the chapter, I would just like to tell you something about the Armenian tribe. Armenian tribe. I guess you must be hearing about this tribe for the very first time in your life. Armenian tribe refers to the people of Armenia. And Armenia is actually a place in Eurasia. Now talking about Armenian tribe, these people are known for their two main qualities. First, Armenians are known to be very honest people. And secondly, Armenians, though they are very honest, but there is also a very harsh reality associated with this tribe. And the harsh reality is that though they are honest, but they are poor as well. Now, let's come to the summary of this chapter. Once there is a very small boy, Aram, who is sleeping peacefully in his bed. Aram is around nine years old. Suddenly, his sleep in the morning is disturbed by a voice. That voice is of his cousin, Murad. Murad is a 13-year-old boy. Aram, when he sees his cousin, Murad, he is very surprised. Why is he surprised? No, not because it's early in the morning, but because Murad is standing with a beautiful white horse. I told you right in the very beginning that Armenians are known to be honest, but they are very poor. So Aram is very confused. How can Murad own a beautiful white horse? They are not rich. They are poor tribe. And it is almost impossible for them to own such a beautiful horse. Secondly, Aram knows that Murad cannot resort to methods like stealing or begging or borrowing because it is against the philosophy and the policy of the Armenian tribe. Soon Aram goes down and meets his cousin. But as soon as this nine-year-old boy sees that beautiful white horse, all his questions goes into the bike side. He is none concerned about how did uh, Murad get that horse, whether it was through stealing or whether he bought the horse. Aram just wanted to enjoy the horse ride. Now both Aram and Murad, they are resorting to use that horse and they both take their ride. Suddenly Aram says that he wants to enjoy the ride alone, all by himself. As soon as Aram is about to get on the horse, the horse moves away and it takes approximately 30 minutes for both the boys to find the horse. Eventually, when both the boys find the horse, the thing comes, where should they hide the horse? Yes, both Aram and Murad cannot take the horse back to their home. It is impossible for them to hide such a big asset or a thing. So the next question is, where should they hide the horse? Eventually, both the boys decide that they want to hide the horse in a deserted barn. Another day goes by and both Aram and Murad are enjoying their horse rides. But suddenly, a problem knocks at the door of Aram. Somebody by the name of John Byro, who is an Assyrian, comes to the house of Aram. John Byro complains about the fact that it's been nearly a month and his horse has been stolen. And because of the horse being stolen, he's not able to do anything. He's not able to travel to far off places because his carriage needs a horse. And at the same time, he's not able to do other works because he has lost his horse. That moment, a thing quickly strikes Aram. They say that the horse that they have got is actually the horse of John Byro, who is an Assyrian. Now Aram is really scared. I mean, if the entire Armenian society gets to know about the fact that these boys had stolen the horse, it would be very difficult for both of them. When Aram quickly approaches Morad, Morad says, it's okay, it's not a big deal. I mean, we've just taken the horse, we've not stolen the horse. And after a few rides, they would return the horse back to its owner, and that is John Byro. 
Now when we are discussing about the journey of the two boys, Aram and Murad, we have to understand the psyche and the thinking of Murad. Murad knows about the Armenian tribe's policies and characteristics. Yet he has that crazy streak in his mind that he has to go ahead and enjoy the horse ride. And this crazy streak of Murad has been inherited by him by his uncle, Uncle Khusrov. Yes, another character comes into the story and that is of Uncle Khusrov. Uncle Khusrov is somebody who is an Armenian but he has a crazy streak. Whenever there is a problem in his life, he has only one solution to that problem. It is no harm, pay no attention to it. Once when Uncle Khusrov's house was on fire and his son informs him that father our house is on fire, Uncle Khusrov has just one reaction. It is no harm, pay no attention to it. When John Byro comes to Aram's house and tells them about his horse being stolen, Uncle Khusrov has the same reaction. It is no harm, pay no attention to it. I mean, is it actually possible for us to live a life where we can actually say it is no harm, pay no attention to it? Okay, now coming back to Aram and Murad. Yes, Aram and Murad knows that they are using the horse of John Byro, but they also feel that it's only for a period of time. After some time, they are going to give back the horse to its owner. Now, few days go back and both the horse, both the boys, sorry, cut kar sakte hai Some days go by and again Aram and Murad, who are two boys and enjoying their horse ride. Once when they are going back home, who do they meet? They meet somebody by the name of John Byro. John Byro, again a reminder, he's the same man whose horse Murad has stolen. John Byro meets both the boys and he looks at the horse. Even though in his mind John Byro knows that this is his horse, but he does not say anything to the two boys because he knows that Armenian is a tribe that believes in honesty and no dishonesty. John Byro goes home that day, but that moment of meeting John Byro, the owner of the horse, makes the two boys realize that they have done a big blunder and a huge mistake. They both of them decide that they have to return the horse to its rightful owner. And they do so that very night. The summer of the beautiful white horse tells us an adventure of the two boys, Aram and Murad, and their horse rides. It's a beautiful story which focuses on the qualities of Armenian tribe people. Armenians, again, I am focusing on the fact, is a tribe that is known for its honesty and for being poor. Now, before we leave, I would just like to tell you the important points that you need to focus when you are revising this chapter for your exams. First point, you need to know about all the characters. The first character, Aram. Aram is the nine-year-old boy who knows the qualities and characteristics of Armenians, but he's so fascinated by the horse that he just does not care about anything. Next character is character of Murad, who is a 13-year-old cousin of Aram, the narrator of the story. Murad is a crazy streak person who has inherited his craziness from his uncle, Uncle Khusrov. Next character is Uncle Khusrov. Uncle Khusrov's character is very important and you always have to remember the lines that Uncle Khusrov uses which is, it is no harm, pay no attention to it. Uncle Khusrov always uses this solution to all his problems in life. And lastly, we also have to remember the character of John Byro. John Byro is an Assyrian. I would repeat the name. He was an Assyrian who was living amongst the Armenian tribe. Even though his horse is stolen and he sees the two boys with the horse, yet he does not complain. Why he does not complain? Because he knows that he is living with the Armenians. So before you go, you have to remember all these points. The characters, Aram, Murat, Uncle Khusrov 
and John Byro. Next, you need to remember about the characteristics of Armenian tribe, honesty and poor. Next, you have to remember that even though the two boys steal the horse, go and take their own adventure, but eventually, finally in the end, they realize their mistake and they return the horse as an act of redemption. Redemption means that you are feeling bad about what you have done and you want to redeem your mistake. You want to cover up your mistake. So all these points are very important for the summer of the beautiful white horse, especially the character of Uncle Khusrov, especially the Armenian tribe character six and especially about Aram and Murad. Thank you. This is it for today.